We're here at the National Park in Guatemala, Kiriwa, which is an ancient Mayan village, 700 years after Christ. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Guatemala. If you're new to the channel, this is April. <laughs> hey, y'all. And I'm Wayne. We have Selvine with us. We do a video every Thursday. Hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. So, so sit, sit back, back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the, the journey. journey. Kiriwadi was Mayan site from late classic, even post classic. When the United Fruit Company, they started to grow in bananas plantation in this area, they found different Mayan stone. They get the news in the gold governments and they are starting to looking for what happened here. Here we will see many different carbon stone. Every five years they need to build in one new carbon stone. One thing I've noticed is these are in probably the best shape I've seen for Mayan carvings. Is this original? It's original. The Mayan they are using the red color to cover the most important Mayan temple. The color is coming from some insects. The name is Cochinillas and they cut and one part of the stomach they are picking the red color. It looks like a turtle to me. It's because of the shape. This one they have snake face, it they have opened the mouth. Mayan ruler is reborn and each one square is representing different events. Mayan warrior is sit down here. You can see the legs, the knee, yeah, you can see the body. He is in this position. He is visiting from another Mayan sites. Here they are using different symbols to represent the dates. And here for example it's like a turtle but it has alligator skin. You can see it's one leg but and here you can see different humans in different positions. Like to fetal position. And they die and they put in this position. They put the jade mask on here and different tools on here in one big ceramic. And here for example is a belt. The belt is covered all half. It's representing in this case the Milky Way. This one is a tooth and is representing one eye and this another one is representing when the one mile is talking because one is more bold there we call volutas. Voluta is when they are speaking. Mortal with human arms and legs, yeah. body is like a jaguar. In this stone is coming to make ceremonies. They put the life body on it and after they cut the head. Where do they get the person? Football player, the winner, ruler for another, like to prisoners for another Mayan site, or younger people when they want to be sacrificed. Would you do it? Uh, no, I saw. <laughs> we have different rulers. The name was Chanjopat. In English, the mean Jade Sky. He made it a different trophy for show the people when they receive different important visits. Or when they capture one ruler from another Mayan site, here is different dates. In the Mayan calendar, one ball is representing number one. Two balls is two. Three balls is three. Four balls is four, one bar is five, two bars is ten. And here, for example, we can see number 13. Three balls and two bars. In this case, they are talking about one cartoon. It's one group of 400 years. They are tell us the history, the ruler, he picking the powerful in that age. The powerful is representing when he is taking the arms in this position. When, see, that's why I sleep that way. Yes. <laughs> when, and here you can see it's almost destroyer because this stone, the beam, lay down this uh, position. Water and the sunshine, they destroy. So this is really a calendar. Yes, part okay. of a calendar. The history of the visitor, of the ruler from this area, the fight from another Mayan site, and the visitor or another Mayan ruler. That one is uh, from 775 after Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is five years of difference. Each one square area is representing different human eyes. They have like two animal head because they materialize different gods in different animals. The most important for them is jaguar, monkey, deer, and a bird. We have another history here with different dates. Each one block and here 
they tell us different stories. In the big one, you can see a ruler. The ruler, he has head decoration, ear decoration, necklace decoration right here. The next one up there, yes, you can see this one older guy with another guy. The another is, there was a doctor, but he has one snake budging to another one. That process is when the day is, is sacrificed. The another one is the same guys, but in the next events, and they are dancing and okay. he is making light too yeah. funny the next one one of them is die no have head and here you can see different events he was the ruler from Copan they had a little bit more powerful from Kiriwa the Mayan they was warrior they all time they been fighting the fighting they was and here they proposed Motawa rivers because in that river they can take the control of all commercial trade Chanjo Path Kiriwa ruler they going to kill and to rip the 18 rabbits and they capture them they bring here they cut the heads and they making this statue for show to another Mayan side and here you can see on the same ruler and he has the visit from another ruler from another Mayan side the ruler from Kalakmul because we can see Mayans they have one glypho representing each Mayan side and here you can recognize who is ruler who is important people for example, and here you can see the sandals. They don't have any decoration in foot. But and here they have sandals and they have jade decoration. Here in the middle you can see they are using a belt. The belt is with jade. Sometimes they are using some skull, a skull from monkeys okay. or representing like to human skull. Or they can bring a jaguar skull or in the top okay. or in the back. Hey Wayne and April, how are you guys doing? Hola Chelsea. How are you doing today? Estoy muy bien. I'm doing really well. Are you excited for your first destination, Rio Dulce? Sounds like so much fun. <laughs> I'm excited. So you guys are going to be staying at Hacienda Tijas. The hotel is really cool. It's like the different little wooden bungalows and they're suspended over the water. So you feel like you're kind of in the jungle. You've got the water there. Then Selvin and Carlos are going to take you out on the boat the next day. The boat will just pull up and grab you the next morning when you're getting ready to start your whole day adventure on the lake and the river. So first you're going to head inwards towards Lago Isabal and you're gonna visit Castillo de San Felipe and so this was actually a fortress that had been built at one point to kind of protect the lake from pirates it's small honest compared to I don't know if you've been to some of the larger fortresses in like Puerto Rico or in Cuba it's like a mini version cool I've always wanted to rent it out to throw like a big party there muchas gracias Chelsea muy bien nos vemos we want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end if you would hit that subscribe button Share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life. <laughs>